bad day. In the distance, the last baleful rays of the setting sun paint the mountains a glistening red. Or perhaps they are on fire, or, or bleeding. In the fading light it's hard to tell. As I back away from the slavering beast, the wet ground beneath my heel crumbles and with a lurch I look down to the stormy waters below. Stormy waters broken by thrashing limbs, glistening suckers and razor sharp beaks. Great. Just great. And I'd really thought my day couldn't get any worse. I take a sideways step onto firmer ground and duck as the ghostly form wails down from above. Between the advancing hellhound, the banshee flying through the gloomy night air and the host of sea monsters waiting far below, there isn't a heck of a lot of space left for me. I tap the gizmo around my wrist, willing it to glow green. No such luck. It stays stubbornly dark. An unknown and possibly unknowable force blocking the emergency teleport signal. Talent Hall claws catch on my hair and I'm enveloped in a musty graveyard air. I shrink away from the banshee's soul-sapping touch and the coal fire eyes of the hellhound flick upwards. It seems the wailing woman has his attention as well. As the banshee sweeps in once again, I reach out, grab a cold bony limb, shout, here boy, and toss it over the cliff. The beast bounds past, mouth agape, all puppy dog enthusiasm, a thick trail of saliva hitting me wetly in the face as its teeth wrap around the screeching banshee, and they plunge together to their tentacular doom. There's a moment's blissful silence. And I dare to hope that maybe, just maybe, I might survive this ordeal after all. Uh, assuming I can find a place where my teleport works while it still has enough juice to get me out of here. How terribly uncouth, a discorporate voice hisses each word in alternate ears as a black form, winged form flickers in and out of existence. Now I'll have to think of an even better ending. <laughs> <laughs>